All right, guys, so we have a global data download today, and it has a whole bunch of awesome information for us, a whole bunch of cool, oh, I can't wait stuff, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So first off, shout out to the Reddit and Zahal, shout out to dbz.space for containing all of this information. So as we all already know, we have the um, Gogeta and Janemba that are coming out. We also already knew about the Fat Janemba and his token of the Agility Janemba. Well, we also have the Tech Paiku Han Doken Awakening, and we're finally getting Sin Shenron, the SR variant that Doken Awakens into an SSR Omega. So Omega Shenron will now be farmable, and he's probably going to be a featured SR on this banner. So what that means is he's going to have a really high percentage of being pulled. Thing is, it's probably going to be split between him and Fat Janemba, which is cool, don't get me wrong, because that then means it's a 5% chance between the two of them, because it's a ten, usually a 10% chance for the featured SR units. Uh, so that means whatever you get, if you have Omega and Janemba, whatever SRs you pull, you could actually increase their super attack with them if you choose to do so. The other thing is to, you know, uh, um, uh, SSR Omega Shenron, the agility one, when he gets his Doken waking to that form isn't that bad of a unit don't get me wrong i haven't done a full review on him so i will do that uh, i'm going to do a separate uh card analysis of the paikuhan and the omega uh, on top of that we also have the pan and rildo that are going to be dropped soon uh, i don't really recommend going for them uh, anymore just unless you really plan on sticking with the mono teams uh, and the only reason is because um, they're only fit for their specific 120 mono teams and while that's a good meta to use and they are still very viable, um, it is not something that is going to be uh, made, unless you, let me play this, As, if you plan on doing it, then go for it. If you want to keep that 120 meta, then go for it. If you plan on, you know, following the hype and staying and going into the categories, it's probably not going to be worth it. The other thing is you also probably get a chance for double Elder Kai, so it's kind of worth it there if you need Elder Kai's definitely to do that. Uh, the other thing about them uh, is it usually has LR Maj and Vegeta on it, so that's another incentive to go. But uh, personally, my recommendation is to not do it unless you need the Elder Kai's, uh, so that way you can grab them. Or my recommendation is to only also do it if you plan on sticking with the Super Saiyan 4 or Super 17 teams moving forward in the future, even after the release of the categories. But um, yeah, that's that. The other thing is we have new items. We have Dokkan Fest Ticket A and Dokkan Fest Ticket B. This is to not be confused with the Thank You Fest Celebration Summon Tickets. These are completely different. What these look like is it looks like Dokkan Fest uh, Ticket A is a festival exclusive character guaranteed summon. Now I'm assuming that means an SSR. I don't know if that includes the pool of the two SRs that are going to be available there. But we're getting two of them. One is going to be this one, the other is going to be this one. It looks like it's going to be a specific ticket for the summon on the Gogeta and Janemba banners, um, just because this one looks in like an intelligence purple uh, colored uh, Dokkan ticket, at least with the word Dokkan filled in, it looks like it's purple. And this one looks red. So I'm assuming that Bandai is going down to do this to give us a guaranteed featured unit. I don't know how awesome that's going to be, it depends on the featured units. I mean, notoriously i've seen a lot where a majority of old older players who have a lot of cards usually get duplicates but again uh, that's usually just rng based i don't believe that bandai's hacking the system to make it bad for us uh, but whatever i'm really happy that they're actually doing this um, i don't know if this is going to be a login bonus i think it's going to be a login bonus but i don't know at this point in time it's probably going to be you log in it's there that's all there is to it and go for it uh, so yeah, here is a countdown timer for the Gogeta and Janemba drop because actually we have information they are actually dropping on tw at 12 o'clock p.m. PST. That's the middle of Thanksgiving Day. They're nuts for doing it in the middle of Thanksgiving. All the parents are going to be flipping out on their kids who are playing this game. I'm telling you that. Uh, <laughs> so 12 p.m. Like so, I guess well, what is that? Uh, seven. So that's eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's around three o'clock. Um, I guess the uh, Eastern time, so you know, I doubt that's going to be decent. I'll be at work, so I won't be able to. I won't be doing my summonings at that time because I want to make sure I get them all on video. So uh, at some point, I'll just I'll have to run home. But you probably won't get a video from me until like later on that night, Thursday night, uh, or Friday morning, at least for me summoning on this banner. But that's awesome. So all these are going to be coming all at once, and I'm assuming the Paikuhan is going to be on a separate banner. I don't know what he would be on because I don't. If he's getting a Doken Awakening, typically they throw the cards that are getting Doken Awakenings on a banner. 
but he's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive. I don't see them throwing him on any other banner unless they're just throwing him into like the Super Saiyan, uh, or sorry, the Super Gogeta banner, uh, just to have him in there. But uh, we'll wait and we'll see. If they're just giving him his Dokkan Awakening, that's cool enough for me. I don't care about that. That would be awesome. But uh, yeah, guys, that's that. Uh, we have a little bit of time. Let's, let's open up the countdown timer real quick. Um, so we have uh, one day and four hours left until it is available. Super hype, super, super hype. Uh, let's see over here what else is it? Oh, yeah, that's all there was to it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you a um, actual video doing the weekly grind video that I typically do in terms of events that are currently running. Um, I don't have enough time to do that. I have a couple things to do before work. So I'm going to have to put that on hold, unfortunately, till either later on tonight uh, or until Friday. But I think that you are all okay with that because of the amount of content I've put out this week and you all know kind of what's going on because there's a lot of hype. Uh, I will do my best to get that video out. If I have the time to do it before I leave today, I will make sure to do it. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and I'll catch you all later.